Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Giga Shanghai started working in two shifts, June production expected to fully return to normal. Tesla is calling on Powerwall users in Texas to demonstrate how they can help support the grid. Tesla files patent on colored photovoltaic roof tiles. And, Tesla's navigation taps into detailed weather data for extra precise energy usage estimates. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Giga Shanghai has started operating in two shifts, according to Chinese media. Production is expected to fully recover in June and return to pre-lockdown levels. Giga Shanghai was shut down for 22 days, from March 28 to April 19, due to a surge in COVID-19 cases and subsequent lockdowns in China. The factory had been operating on a single 12-hour shift since, with around 8,000 employees, since it reopened. Now, Chinese media Yikai reported that it had received confirmation that Giga Shanghai has added another group of workers. This means that now production takes place in two shifts, which also means a further improvement in Tesla's production capacity. The manufacturer resumed production in the factory on April 19, but due to factors such as staff shortages and logistics issues, it maintained single-shift production for about a month. According to new data, Tesla began working in two shifts, starting May 23. A Yikai source said that with the support of the government, the number of workers at the Tesla factory has increased significantly compared to the initial phase of the resumption of work and production. The two-shift system still uses a closed production cycle. Production is expected to fully return to pre-lockdown levels next month. Another source said that the logistics have basically improved and can guarantee the production and supply of necessary Tesla components, almost in full. However, factors such as epidemic prevention and control in different provinces continue to slightly delay full recovery. Before the epidemic, Tesla produced almost 20,000 vehicles a week. The report also states that after a little over two years of operation, Giga Shanghai now sources about 95% of its parts from local companies. The automaker's localization rate was 90% at the end of 2021. With a second shift in stable supply chain, Tesla is producing about 2,000 cars per day, the same it was before the shutdown. That figure is expected to increase even further up to as many as 2,600 cars per day soon thanks to the recent $188 million production line optimization project. Even though Giga Shanghai has only been operating on a single shift, workers have been able to build enough cars for four batches of exports to Europe and other markets. The most recent export took place earlier this week, where thousands of Model 3 and Model Y were loaded onto the Horizon Leader cargo ship at the Luchao port just outside of Shanghai. Moving to the next update, Tesla is calling on Powerwall users in Texas to demonstrate how they can help support the grid. Tesla is urging Powerwall owners in Texas to help demonstrate how a fleet of home battery systems can be used to help stabilize the state's grid. Texas's grid has gained notoriety due to challenges it faces from the weather, from extreme heat to winter snow and ice storms. Tesla has filed a request for a rule change with the Electric Council of Texas ERCOT, which should pave the way for utilities to bid on capacity stored and battery storage systems. Tesla would be able to accomplish this using a virtual power plant, similar to a project launched last summer in California. Tesla is looking to operate the distributed energy assets generated in its Powerwall batteries as a virtual power plant, according to a PV Magazine report. If successful, Tesla's planned ERCOT demonstration could prove that home battery systems could be tapped as a legitimate means to support the grid. Tesla Powerwall users are not required to participate in the ERCOT demonstration, though owners who do would be provided some perks. Powerwall customers who participate in at least 80% of the tests would be receiving a $40 Tesla gift card. Participants would also be able to participate in something much bigger than simply meeting their home's energy storage needs. 
For its ERCOT virtual power plant demonstration, Tesla would be controlling participating Powerwall batteries. Processes that would be handled by Tesla include charging, discharging, and configuring the home battery to respond to grid conditions automatically and support tests that demonstrate grid services. Tesla has assured homeowners participating in the ERCOT virtual power plant demonstration that their batteries would not be discharged below 20% of their capacity. This should allow homeowners to still have enough backup energy just in case they need them for their homes. Tesla, however, has also noted that it would be charging and discharging power walls at any time and to any extent as needed. Moving to the next update, Tesla files patent on colored photovoltaic roof tiles. In pursuit of its plans to grow its solar energy business, Tesla has filed for a new patent, colored photovoltaic roof tiles. It describes solving technical problems to improve the aesthetics of solar tiles for solar roof. On May 27, 2022, Tesla filed a patent on colored photovoltaic roof tiles, which refers to photovoltaic roof tiles and how to give them different colors. The patent describes pouring one or more layers of sealant surrounding the solar cells of a photovoltaic roof tile with a pigment to change the cosmetic appearance of the photovoltaic roof tile to make it more suitable for customer liking. Tesla offers solar tiles that could cover the roof. In addition to generating energy, it provides protection for the house from weather while giving the house a pleasant aesthetic appearance. A photovoltaic roof tile may take the form of a conventional roof tile and may include one or more solar cells sandwiched between the front and back covers but typically contains fewer solar cells than a conventional solar panel. The front and back covers can be made of reinforced glass or other material that can protect the photocells from the weather. The photovoltaic roof tile may include a sealing layer, such as an organic polymer. The lamination process can seal the solar cells between the front and back covers. Unfortunately, PV tiles are generally not available in the number of colors that a consumer would choose from when installing a conventional roof. That's why Tesla is working to provide solar roof in multiple colors, allowing customers to decorate their homes based on their personal preferences. With this development, the manufacturer will solve the technical problem of improving the aesthetics of solar tiles. Moving to the last update, Tesla's navigation taps into detailed weather data for extra precise energy usage estimates. Tesla recently rolled out an update to its vehicle's navigation system that makes energy consumption calculations incredibly accurate. The update was released as part of software version 2022.16.0.2. Prior to the update, Tesla's navigation system predicted a vehicle's energy usage using data like distance, elevation changes, and other information, like the type of wheels that are installed. Through this feature, drivers were able to view the estimated energy available in their vehicles when they arrived at their destination. Tesla's new update pushes this feature further with the navigation system now taking into account factors such as wind conditions, potential crosswinds, humidity, and ambient temperature when predicting a vehicle's energy usage. This additional weather data should provide Teslas with more accurate energy consumption estimates. Tesla announced the update through its official Twitter account. Tesla navigation will now take predicted crosswind, headwind, humidity and temperature into account for calculating battery percent on arrival. This is in addition to current factors, predicted speed, HVAC use, elevation changes, current temperature, and router distance, Tesla wrote. Considering that Tesla's navigation energy prediction system will be using additional weather information, vehicles must have an active cellular connection to support the updated feature. This could be an issue for some older vehicles, like early Tesla Model S units, that are not equipped with a 4G or LTE modem. AT&T retired its 3G cellular service this February 2022. As a result, Teslas that are only equipped with 3G connectivity have lost features such as remote unlock, live traffic updates, cabin preconditioning, supercharger availability, and navigation. Owners whose vehicles are affected by AT&T's retirement of its 3G cellular networks are advised to take advantage of Tesla's LTE modem upgrade 
which costs $200. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.